Hi guys, this is Megan from the blog WilsonHumpsa.com and today I want to do my son Demi's six month update. I cannot believe that this little guy is half a year old. Actually a little over because this update's a little late. But he's just growing so fast, it's ridiculous. I just, I can't even believe it. Last time I weighed him, he weighed a little over 16 pounds, but that was a few weeks ago, so I'm guessing he's probably somewhere between 17 and 18 pounds at this point. So he's a pretty big boy. He's a chunk. <laughs> he has four teeth now, which is crazy. I still can't even believe that he got his first two teeth at like four months or three months. I don't remember when he got those, but ridiculously early. So he got his two bottom ones first, and then now he has his two top ones with his four teeth. And there are two more coming in that I can see on either side of his two top ones. So he gets some impairs just like my daughter did. <laughs> so he gets really quite grumpy when he's teething. And I remember from my daughter too that those two top teeth can be some of the roughest ones. And he definitely had a hard time with those. So I'm really, really glad that they're pretty much through at this point. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know that we were all sleeping upstairs in one room, all four of us, because we were remodeling our 100 plus year old farmhouse, so we needed to do the master bedroom, so we all were sleeping in the same room, <laughs> which was quite an adventure, but we all really adjusted to it really well, and it was going really smoothly, and then now that the bedroom remodel and, the, and now the living room remodel's done, we are back down in our room, um, and he isn't loving it. <laughs> I thought maybe he would enjoy not being up there with Sophia, because she wakes up sometimes, but just all the different noises. It's a different brightness in there. For the first couple of days he had a different sound machine and it was so rough that I went and grabbed the sound machine from up there and just swapped him. But he's in a different bed. Upstairs he was sleeping in a little kind of nest I made out of blankets folded up right next to our bed. Our bed was on the floor and then he was in a little nest right next to the bed between the bed and the wall. So it was really, really convenient for him to sleep there. I could get to him like super fast. He was just right there. It was pretty much like he was in bed with us. And then now he's sleeping in the playpen in our master bedroom. So it's a different texture. I can't get to him quite as instantly, which I'm sure all these little things are probably just messing with him. He just has to adjust to it a little bit. And then he was also teething. He was getting those top two teeth in down there. So it wasn't great timing. But actually the first night that we moved down there, he did pretty good. And the second night is when things really went downhill. He was awake from like 11.30 to three, like awake, awake, like he would not go back to sleep. I nursed him like three times during that period, which was weird because he like never nurses at night and he hasn't needed to nurse at night since he was like two months old. I hadn't even done any sleep training with him. He like just naturally sleeps so good and doesn't need to nurse at night. So it was weird that he was waking up like that. Like I know that's normal for babies, but just, not normal for him. <laughs> he is slowly getting better. Now he will wake up around five times usually, which sounds bad, but I can just go over there and put his pacifier back and he'll go back to sleep. So it's not really that disturbing to my sleep. Now, if he was having a hard time falling back asleep after waking up and like needed to nurse, I would be a little bit more annoyed, but it's not too bad. So I'm happy with that. I have started giving him those homeopathic teething tablets. I think they're the Highlands brand. I used them with my daughter a lot when she was getting her first teeth and she loved them. It took him a little adjusting to them. <laughs> he thought I was killing him when I put one of them in his mouth the first few times. It was hilarious. <laughs> but I mostly give those to him at night, so he loves it now. Like, I can give him a teething tablet and then stick his pacifier in and he's out like a light. Hopefully he doesn't become addicted to the tablets because when he's not teething, I'm not gonna give him one at night. <laughs> so it has been getting harder and harder to get him to go to bed at night, which has been kind of frustrating, I think especially for Luke. I I didn't as much mind because I got to snuggle him the whole evening while we were watching a show or something. And I would bounce on our exercise ball and try to get him to fall asleep. But it kind of got to the point where Luke was pretty annoyed and I was getting annoyed that he was kind of like taking up our entire evening with falling asleep for the night. We couldn't really have alone time, even though we were just usually watching something, we wanted to sit by each other and not have to worry about the baby. So we decided that it was time to do some sleep training. But the first night, he, we went in there like every five to 10 minutes. We kind of follow the Ferber method, kind of a uh, modified version of the Ferber method. We just do whatever we feel is best. If their cry, cry changes or something, 
we'll go in there a little earlier than a certain amount of time. But I do really like the fervor method. It's not a completely crying out method, so I think it's gentle enough with still teaching them to sleep. But anyway, we went in there about every five minutes and it took him like half an hour and he fell asleep by himself, which was amazing because Sophia's first time took a lot longer than that. And I've also been working on it during naps. It usually takes him like five minutes. I go in there after five minutes and put his pacifier back and he falls asleep. And then last night we put him to bed and he didn't cry at all. That was the third night that we've been doing this. So the first night he cried for half an hour, second night he cried for like five minutes, third night no crying at all. So this is going really smoothly. I'm actually very, very thrilled with how well it's going. And I'm really glad that we did it now because he's getting to the point soon where I'm gonna have to transition him out of this bottle. And I would prefer it that he would be sleep trained before that point because I don't have to deal with both at once. But I have been kind of sad about that he doesn't take all of his naps on me anymore. I've been practicing with the sleep training during naps too, just to get him more practice so it's easier at night. But that means he doesn't get to sleep in the wrap on me and it's just breaking my heart. But he is actually sleeping better by himself. So I think I'm feeling like the, the time of baby wearing is coming to an end. Around six months is when I was kind of planning on letting him sleep by, self, by himself if he was ready. And he seems to be ready, but I just love baby wearing so much, so I'm having a hard time letting it go. <laughs> but it's time to move on to the next phase. It will be nice to be able to do more things while he's sleeping, because I can't do everything I want to while he's in the wrap. So yeah, I mentioned that I was gonna have to transition him out of the swaddle, and so that means that he is starting to roll over. He can roll from his stomach to his back really easily, and sometimes he does it by accident, and then it kind of scares him, and he gets really startled, and might even start crying, it's really sad. But he can roll pretty easily from his stomach to his back, and he's getting so close to rolling from his back to his stomach, like he gets almost all the way over. So, I just want to be prepared to transition him out of the swaddle when he starts rolling, like, really well. He still doesn't really like to be left by himself, he just really likes me to hold him all the time. He is a big mama's boy, he doesn't really have anyone to hang out by himself. He just wants to be on me. Sophia is getting to the age where she can help me with him and calm him down a little bit. So if he's crying and I have to finish something up, I can send her over. I can say, Sophia, can you go give Dimmy a kiss? Or can you go put his binky back? And she'll go do it for me and it calms him down. So that is just so adorable and so handy that she can do that now. The one main spot he does like to hang out by himself in is his high chair. He has enough head support and sitting up ability that he can sit in his high chair by himself which is super cute and he just likes to sit there and watch me while I'm working in the kitchen. I'm still in the thick of canning season so he likes to sit there and watch me do all my canning which is super handy that he likes that because I don't know how much canning I would have been able to get done if he needed me to hold him the whole time. He has been absolutely loving to grab toys himself and he holds them and chews on them. He's getting a lot more hand dexterity which is really awesome and fun to watch. He loves sitting up by himself which he can't get to the same position by himself, but if I sit him up, he can keep himself up there and he loves it. It is so entertaining for him, but not really near getting there by himself yet. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all of his new updates. The main thing that has just been on my mind lately with him is the sleep training stuff. He is doing just so well and this is gonna, has been such a fast process and just so, so easy with him, so I'm just super thrilled that he's better and then he can fall asleep by himself it's like so free that like literally hours of my day that he can fall asleep by himself but he's just the sweetest boy and I'm so excited to see all of his new developmental updates and just all the things he can do and all the stuff he's learning and so I hope you guys enjoyed this update I love having these updates on here to look back on I've been watching Sophia's old updates because when you're in the thick of having a baby and then a year later, you want to remember what they were doing at certain ages, it's like impossible. So I am so happy to have all these updates just on YouTube and ready for me to look back on. And I hope you guys enjoy them as well. But thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!